Right, so in this video, we're going to be looking at why Quant will surpass Ethereum. So if you're not holding Quant, make sure to stick around to the end of the video. Uh, we also have some tweets regarding the Overledger platform that we're going to check out. So that should always be fun. But before we get into all of that, um, let's see what Quant's price is looking like today on the current uh, crypto market. And as you guys can see, it is sitting at $104.44. For the day, um, it has not broken the $100 line. It hasn't gotten below in a while ever since um, the whole uh, bit the Bitcoin rise, ever since Bitcoin rose. And like we've been seeing on the channel, um, it has been corresponding with Bitcoin. Um, so with the with Bitcoin's um, current rise, or that the rise that happened um, about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Quant also did rise as well. Um, it broke the $90 uh, barrier, which it was um, struggling to break for a while. I remember analyzing it back then and I'm just uh, debating whether I should buy. And it, in fact, I did buy and I'm happy that I did. Um, but still, if you don't hold Quant right now, um, there is still a lot of chance to buy Quant because this is a long-term project, guys. This is not a short-term project. This is a long-term project with long-term massive massive potential so um, don't be discouraged if you didn't buy um, around the 90 dollars i know for me i if i knew um, what would happen for certain i would have bought way more but of course this is not a short-term project um looking at the price more specifically it has been um stagnating a little bit for the past um couple of weeks maybe um ever since its rise but that, is, that isn't necessarily a bad thing, as I have seen some people that thought it would go down immediately, um, that also Bitcoin's price would go down, but obviously both of them have stayed rather consistent. Um, yeah, the $90 line uh, has not been crossed yet, um, luckily, and I don't think it will. I don't, I don't think it will fall down to $100 or below $100 anytime soon, as... Um, I do think it is kind of generating a mini bull run. I mean, it is on a mini bull run right now, but on a bigger mini bull run, if that makes sense. Um, as the last time it was um, above that, it didn't really uh, fall for a while. Like from this line, you can tell it was on a downward trend for a while. I mean, it did kind of break a little bit, but it didn't stay as consistently above $100 as it is right now so it was struggling as you guys know it was struggling to stay it was like 190 then all of that but uh, luckily it has been staying right now um, but specifically about the tweet um, about it is from learn OVL and it is about the overledger platform as you guys know the overledger platform is solving the interoperability issue it is um, founded by Gilbert Verdian um the person who also founded quant token and the way it uh the quant token ties into the overledger platform is um it is going to be used as currency on that platform um and because of the issue that it solves the interoperability issue and how big that is and how um the overledger platform is the most um adept at so solving this issue the best solution that we have right now despite other um Despite other tokens having their own um, platforms that solve the interoperability issue, they don't solve it nearly as well as the Overledger platform. So, um, what Learn OVL is saying here is routing information across ledgers at the transaction level is unscalable. Overledger solves interoperability the right way for enterprise um, quant. So, let's read what they have to say. Overledger. It should be noted that all of the above solutions only allow communication between two blockchains at the same time. Our solution can conduct operations across multiple blockchains simultaneously. Overledger can read information like transactions, um, scripts or contracts and map them in the overlayer only if that information is compliant with the selected business logic. In this way, Overledger can connect all blockchains allowing the ability to add an arbitrary hash of a message to a host. In most, in most cases, the projects that encourage connectivity among blockchains create a network of ledgers. 
where the asset or the information needs to be routed from the source to the destination across different hops when it is applicable. Um, we do not propose a network approach. We introduce a multi-layer approach. We move the information in the layers above, creating a common interface among ledgers. So this is the key uh, sentence right here. We do not propose a network approach. We introduce a multi-layer approach. So um, think about that for a second, guys, because that is how um, the overledger is different to the other platforms. And that is why it solves the interoperability issue such in which such precision which it solves it so well and so much better than the other um than the other options that we have right now at least so uh, we also have another tweet which is kind of a continuation to what learn ovl said this is from just a tech guy and even miles Braun reposted this and as you guys know miles Braun is one of the best um quant enthusiasts out there he is um He's a very good follow, so make sure to follow him if you don't already. Uh, we do not propose a network approach. We propose a multi-layer approach akin to TCP slash IP. Get it in your thick skull already. Very, very aggressive from just a tech guy, but he has a vision. Um, and yeah, let's see what um, this document has to say. Um, in this white, white paper, we articulate a vision from for the evolution of Chainlink beyond its own initial con uh, conception in the original chain link white paper we foresee a in an increasingly exp expansive role for oracle networks one of which um, they uh, complement and enhance existing and new blockchains by providing fast reliable and confidentially preserving universal connectivity and old chain computation for smart contract um, the foundation of our plan is what we call decentralized oracle networks or dons for short or a don is a network maintained by a committee of chain link um of chain link nodes it supports uh, any of an unlimited range of oracle functions chosen for deployment by the committee a don thus acts as a powerful abstraction layer offering interfaces for smart contracts to ex uh, extensive off-chain resources and highly efficient yet decentralized off-chain computing resources within the DON itself. So yeah, that is very interesting. We can um, see the similarities um, right there um, from uh, this Chainlink, um, from this uh, Chainlink uh, documents to the Quant document, and how the Overledger platform will work as opposed to the, the decentralized Oracle network. Um, obviously, for um, for the interoperability issue, um, the overledger is king. It is on top and it is number one um, overall. But what just a tech guy says here, we do not propose network approach. We propose a multiplayer approach akin to TCP slash IP is the, exactly the reason why um, people have been talking about overledger like it's the king of interoperability and solving it. Um, as you guys can see, decentralized oracle networks, it is a network, but the overledger, it is not a network approach, it is a multi-layer approach. So that those are the big, big differences right here, and how um, with the multi-layer approach, the interoperability issue will be solved with a lot less friction, it will be solved a lot with a uh, way more efficiency, and overall, the over the it will be more... It will be more future-proof. It will be a much more future-proof way of solving the interoperability issue. So yeah, with that being said, um, we're reaching the end of the video. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the Overledger platform? Um, how do you see it? its future holding out or playing out? Um, ultimately, it does. It does. Um, it does depend on the quant token. So where do you see the quant token? hitting short term where do you see it hitting long term do you see it uh, reaching more than a thousand dollars um by the end of 2023 or do you not see it moving at all let me know in the comments below maybe you see it dropping if you see it dropping i'd love to know why as i have covered many many reasons why i don't think it will drop but if you see it dropping let me know and as always i love talking to you guys today and peace